Hello, bonjour, comment ça va Today we're talking about the Oculus Quest version 19 update for those who have an Oculus Link on the desktop PC version. Let's go If you're new to the channel, hello to you and welcome to VR Essentials. My name is Laz USK. Do consider subscribing as we talk about the practical uses of VR. Welcome back to our regular viewers. All right, let's dive straight in. So basically, Oculus have provided the ability for us to choose what kind of performance settings we want when we're using the Oculus Link. This is because apparently many of us have had some different issues, but that's because, of course, we use different computers as well with different motherboards and different graphic cards. There is also a way to change the graphic performance inside of the Quest via some code, but I never featured it on the channel because personally, I just never really recommend that kind of stuff as it could cause overheating in the headset. So to update your Oculus PC desktop software so that you can change the graphic settings, all you have to do is first of all, launch your Oculus desktop software, then go into settings, then beta, and then enable public test channel. Once the download has finished, make sure that you disable it again and you restart your computer. After you restart your PC and you reopen your Oculus client, you'll see that perhaps the download will occur again. Don't worry, that's normal. You won't have to restart your computer a second time. And then either after the install or after you plug in your Oculus Quest inside the computer, you'll see a pop-up that will provide you different options to change the performance for your Quest during Oculus Link gameplay. So so you have balance, you have auto, you have performance and you have quality. So do experiment a little bit and see which one works for you. Now when Oculus released their update for version 14 or version 15, they had mentioned in the forum that if you had one version up in your desktop version versus your Quest itself, then you wouldn't have any issues. So for example, if you go ahead with the update, you'll have version 19 on your desktop, but you'll still have version 18 inside of your Quest. Now personally, based on my own personal experience, I always had a lot of issues when that was the case, so I'm not going to go ahead and do the update. So I just want to give a quick shout out to Eric for president, as it seems that he did do the update. Go and check out his channel, it's really awesome, and I also put a link below the like button in the description. Guys, if you do go ahead and do the update for version 19 on your desktop, please let us know if you have any issues, write them in the comments below so that you know you can share that information with the others. And if you didn't have any issues, I'd love to know also, please put it in the comments below. I'd like to thank you for watching today's video. You are awesome and I do hope it was helpful. Do leave any comments or suggestions below in the comment box. Until next time, remember to hit the like and subscribe. Also, share some love so that as many of us as possible can grow the community and help as many people in virtual reality because at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. All right, until next time, take it easy. And as always, DJ, take it away. Whew.